Okay, so we are in the car. We're trying to head to the Poconos and traffic is insane. We are downtown Strasbourg and I open up the car door to someone else. <laughs> Good evening, friends. Good evening. So tonight I am packing. I'm heading to my sister's tomorrow for the weekend. A quick little trip to the Poconos. I will be there tomorrow night and Friday night, and I will be driving back on Saturday because your girl has to work on Sunday. I've got my clothes laid out for what I'm wearing to work tomorrow and then what options I have for the weekend. Um, I do know that on Friday, my sister is volunteering at her son's, my nephew's, um, some kind of race day event. So I'm going to go there with her for that. I'm super excited. Um, so this past year, I was able to be there for his last day of school. And then I came back, like I went back to their place, like right before uh, summer was ending and I got to hang out with them for a little bit and now I get to go there and be with them for this event, which just happened to be really random. Like, hey, do you mind if I come visit? I hear it's supposed to be very pretty at this time. So I've got everything that I'm going to take. I just got to pack it in the suitcase, my little carry-on. I'm packing everything tonight because I have got to go to work in the morning. I'm going in early so I can get out early because it's about a five hour drive to their place. So I'm super excited. So let me let me go ahead and pack my suitcase. So I have this suitcase here. I absolutely love it. I designed it myself. It's made here in America, or it's put together here in America. Um, and it's a great suitcase. It rolls amazingly. I love like the handle comes up super high. I mean, it's just a great suitcase. I love it. They're kind of expensive. Um, so I'm waiting for Black Friday to get like the bigger suitcase because I, I just love the company. I love, I even got my little initials on the back of the carry-on. It's great. friends good morning it is the next day it is 4 40 in the morning and i am getting ready to head to work i gotta close up my suitcase i had to throw one more thing in it and i made my coffee while i was in the shower these early mornings let me tell you these early mornings thank goodness it's like this early because i don't need as long to get me to work so I can just jump on the freeway and go. Okay. Okay, my friend Rachel, she told me, I think it's Javi. I think that's how you say it. This is concentrated coffee. And because I'm getting up so early, I am going to have this and take it to work. I'm not gonna drink it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not gonna drink it uh, right away. It's two teaspoons, so I'm just gonna do like, well, it's supposed to be one teaspoon. And I don't have time to find my teaspoon thing, so I'm just gonna do this. Um, yeah, one teaspoon, one teaspoon. Let me show you. And I'm gonna put water in it. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this and then I'm gonna fill it up at work when I'm ready for it. Okay, so I like to do my soda stream. <sighs> Next thing is I gotta put my shoes and socks on y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm taking my hiking boots. I think we're almost ready. I am running late. I'm running late. Okay, so we are in the car. We're trying to head to the Poconos and traffic is insane. There was like multiple accidents on this one freeway and it's like a dead stop. 
so it's rerouting me another way because it's gonna take me over an extra an extra hour to get to my sister's place but now it's back to the normal time maybe we'll see traffic is traffic is insane i've made it to the poconos um it took me a little bit over five hours to get here i finally got here like after seven I had to hang out with my brother-in-law. I gave my nephew his birthday card uh, from my sister and I for him. And we got him a Roblox gift card, $25. And then we went out for a quick dinner at Chick-fil-A. You guys, can we talk about me being on point with my goals? I am so proud that I'm eating within my points and my weekly points. Um, I did get Chick-fil-A when I was leaving work. I got just a grilled chicken sandwich and then a medium fry. And then when I came here, I didn't tell them, but I, <laughs> I had Chick-fil-A. So we got it again and I just got some grilled nuggets and I stayed within my weekly points. I am so happy about that. Tomorrow is Friday and Friday is my last day of my points. So we shall see how that goes. I'm going to do my very best. And then my points start over again on Saturday. We have a lot planned for this weekend. My nephew has a charity walk at school that we're going to be going to that my sister's volunteering at. And then um, I think before that, we're going to go out to breakfast. My brother-in-law, my sister, and myself, well, my nephew is at school. Then we're going to go to the school, do volunteer for the charity walk and then um tomorrow um friday correction saturday he has a uh, what do you call it he has a flag football game so i'm super excited that i'm able to be here to experience these things with them and then i did bring them everything but bunt cakes uh i got them each a bunt cake and then my brother's like which one's yours i'm like i didn't get one because i didn't need the sweets I am going to go to bed and actually I'm going to watch some YouTube to fall asleep and I see you guys tomorrow. This will probably be like all one long vlog and um, we'll see what tomorrow holds. Hey, good morning everyone. Good morning. We are downtown Strasburg. We're about to go have breakfast at this cute little cafe. It's a crisp fall morning here y'all this town is so cute i'm super excited look at this cute little mural It was so good. It was breakfast hash. And it had these potatoes. I had got scrambled eggs on top. It was absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna head to the little quaint post office here. And then we're gonna head back. I am so excited to go to my nephew's um, walk that they're doing for a fundraiser for this school. walking behind my sister and I open up the car door to someone else's car and the man kind of looked back and I closed the door so fast and then we just started busting out laughing we're laughing and then I turned back and I'm like I'm sorry <laughs> he just laughed too <laughs> y'all oh my gosh <laughs> just just open up some random man's door oh my <laughs> this thing against giant because the one by my apartment is not very nice in Virginia like it's kind of like dirty skeezy kind of looking but this one here in the Poconos it is beautiful the way they had the bell peppers displayed out there it was amazing like I was like wow 
Giant is a decent grocery store. The one in Virginia that I go to is not very nice, not at all. But this one, chef's kiss. Marty, I guess. That's the name of him. My sister said he's have a giant name. Badger says, what is it? Giant Marty? <gasps> giant Marty, the store. Oh my gosh. Okay. And it has like these googly eyes and it walks, it rolls up and down aisles to detect spills. This store is nothing at like the store in Virginia. Let me tell you, this is actually a very nice, a nice giant. So I'm going to try out a couple of different giants to see if is just Pennsylvania that has nice ones or if they have some different style of giants in Virginia. I would love to have this. I love peanut butter. Love it. I bet you it tastes really good with my coffee. That's weird, right? I don't care. Caramel. Oh, I'm like, my family left me. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Field. and um, it's an event for my nephew they're doing like a run for education where they're doing laps and as many as laps people donate money so I think my nephew did 20 laps and then like I think his teacher was actually out there running with him which was super cool for him to be out there cheering on the kids running with them and he did like 25, 26, and he started like 10 minutes after these kids. But they all did such a really great job. And they run, walk for an hour. And pretty much every kid was out there the hour or longer. So this is where we spend our afternoon at for, it's been an hour, and now they're eating their popsicles and having a good time. So I couldn't really show you footage because these aren't my children. <laughs> and I'm trying really hard not to get them in the videos but they did such a great job. So we are at the Little Women Outlet Store here in Strasburg. Um, so I've got a couple of items I'm gonna try on. I do have my race at Disney in like two weeks. So I was trying to find something cute to run in. Um, their size in here is very different. A size six is considered a small, I don't know. But you guys, we've got some outfits to try on. I can't wait to show you, so. Let's get the trying on. Okay, so first is the skirt. I'm like, oh, this should be, this should fit. It's a size 14, but when it was hanging up, it was like folded to the side. So, I mean, I could. No, it's too big. But this is the little skirt. Okay, next are the biker shorts. These are a size six. Uh, which is like a small, but these, I don't feel comfortable in these. These are I know, but this is these are the pants. These are too smooth. <laughs> I definitely need a size eight in the Lula and stuff. These are these are snug. Okay, so my sister brought me a different pair of pants. These are like full length, no liner. Um, I mean, I could get away with them, but I, I, love, I love this sweatshirt, it's cute. Is that the pullover one? Yes. This is cute, I love this. Oh! This is cute. Oh, 
Let's talk about shopping at Lululemon. No, it's Two things I liked, both tops. Bottoms and the dress did not work out at all for me, which is fine because that's less money I have to spend. Okay, so we're gonna take all this back. I'm gonna get these two because they're so cute. So we're at our next stop. We are at Texas Roadhouse because I have been craving a steak. Like, I want a steak so bad. So now we're here and I'm super excited because guess what? They have a Heineken Zero, no alcohol. If you don't know, I've given up alcohol for 90 days. I am like on the home stretch. I have 12 days left before I can have a drop of alcohol. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited. My first drink is probably at the airport when I head to Disney in a couple weeks. So they brought us our bread, we got our silverware now, and I'm ready to tear down y'all. I am hungry. Look at this. My sister's being very demure, very mindful. She's using a knife to use to get her butter on it, but I'm not gonna have any butter. I'm about to dive right into this. <laughs> We've got our Heineken Zero. I'm super excited. And then I asked for a glass and he brought me a cold glass. When I went to uh, the steak restaurant in Michigan, I got a warm glass, but look at this pour. Oh yeah. Look at that. Cheers. Cheers. Y'all, look at that salad. That salad looks delicious. Oh, I think I looked it up and it was like 14 points, y'all. 14 points. <laughs> and I'm already over nine points for the week. Um, I ordered a filet mignon, six ounce steak. It comes with shrimp. That alone was 13 points. And then I got the corn and then the green beans. And I also had a piece of bread, which was seven points. My beer, my beer was two points. So I think today my total points I've had was 41 points. <laughs> was it worth it? Totally. It looks amazing. I don't think this is part of my points though. <laughs> but the shrimp looks good, it smells good. It took forever, but I bet you it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. Let's try some of the corn. I haven't had corn in forever. It's hot. Got my green beans. Oops. Those are good. Okay. They taste like smoky, kind of. Okay. Look at this shrimp. It has this sauce on it. Let's try the shrimp. Look at the little shrimpy. The shrimp is good. We just finished dinner. It was so good. I am so stuffed. The steak was good. The shrimp, y'all, the flavoring on that shrimp, whatever they coated it with, it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. Um, I enjoyed my um, Heineken Zero. That was delicious. The steak was good. The green beans, it has some kind of smokiness to it. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I enjoyed the buttered corn, y'all. Living my best life, eating my way through visiting my sister. <laughs>